And again, today we will create ZFS storage pool uh, on a single disk with uh, multiple slides. And after that, we will create data sets and we will give that data set to the users and uh, we will set some information of the data set sizes and any other uh, permissions. And uh, for the format command on the Solaris operating system, you see your usable disks and used disks. And Solaris 11, your uh, basic file system is ZFS and there is no optional any other uh, file system. On Solaris 10, it is optional. You can use the UFS file system also. But now, I will check my disks are using on ZFS or not. There are two disks in here and ZPool status will show us which disks are using on the ZFS file system. Yeah, C2DO, C2DO is using for root pool, R pool, for operating system installation pool. And C2D2 is not using for uh, any ZFS file system, ZFS storage pool. Now, I will create two uh, same size slices on this disk with format command. And I will check one in here because it's not using now. P print, P print. Yeah, in here, this is whole disk. Slice 2 is whole disk. An operating system site, it was UFS file system. There was swap in here and your data should be on zero or another uh, except one and two slices. And now I will create two same size slices on slice zero and slice one. And I will choose zero. Yes, unassigned. Yes. It will start cylinder zero and size is five gigabyte. And P as you see in partition. Yes, it is five gigabyte. And I will set slice one to five gigabyte also. I will check the one because second slice is one. And same, same. One, four, three. It will start cylinder. Start cylinder one, four, three because it was end on one, one, uh, four, two, and it will start one, four, three. And it is also five gigabyte. Yes. And I will check it with P command. And which is five gigabyte, five gigabyte, slice zero and slice one is same size. I can use them uh, for mirror of the uh, ZFS storage pool. Yeah, I should label them before exit yes one link yes ready to label yeah i am ready and q will set it to out i will check it again i will verify our partition table on the c2d2 slice p p yes fine it is persistent saved five gigabyte five gigabyte yeah we can go out and with format, I will check my disk name. Now I will create my ZFS storage pool. Z pool create. There's a problem to create. Yeah. Pool one with mirror because I will mirror, I will be mirrored. Uh, for two slice O and slice one. This disk slice O, this disk same slice one. Yeah. We set two slices to five gigabyte. They are same size and I will do them uh, mirror. Yes, perfect. Zapple, sorry. Zapple list. Yeah. My pool one is in here, five gigabyte, and the pool status pool one show me slice 
0 and slice 1 are mirrored on the pool 1 ZFS storage pool. Now, df minus h, you can use your pool because there is file stem on this raw device disk and this is a uh, normal device, ds key. And you can create data set or you can use this size wholly. Uh, for example, pool one, yeah, touch test, yes, test PVD. I am on the pool one, remove test, or you can create ZFS data set to add this data set to users or uh, application usable area. You can set the, you can give the some size because on the pool one, you can use five gigabyte data in here. Now, ZFS create, create pool one, volume one. I will create pool one, volume one data set over pool one uh, ZFS storage pool. Yes, ZFS list, as you see in here, there is information about pool 1 and mount point mounted to pool 1, volume 1 in here. As you see in DFA minus H, yeah, you can use or your user or application can use this data set. And you want to give the uh, quota for this uh, volume size data set you can give the quota uh, for the user permission for the application permission permission uh, sometimes this should be uh, otherwise uh, you can export that or you can give this to your user if you uh, if you trust your user no problem but if you don't trust your user you should give the uh, quota for this volume. ZFS set quota quota equal one gigabyte sorry for this data set. No, sorry. Here. Yeah. DF minus H Yes, your size is one gigabyte. It was five gigabyte. Now it is one gigabyte. Your user or your application, uh, nothing use that volume more than one gigabyte at the moment. Otherwise, your user and your uh, application can fill up your uh, size uh, without own only that user, that you that application or user. Now it is clear. Now let's do the some tests on the ZFS snapshot uh, about the, our data set. The minus H, you see in here there is a data set. Minus pool one, one, sorry, volume one. Yeah. Touch. Test one, test two, test three. Yeah, as you see in here, there are three file, and I will create ZFS snapshot pool one, volume, volume one. Sorry, at what is the date of now? Twenty five June. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, ZFS list minus T snapshot. As you see in here, my volume one snapshot is in here and there is no used size and refer to a 88K. Now, I will remove, sorry, 
I will remove my files. Oh, sorry. And I want to modify these files. I want to restore these files from my snapshot. Yeah. I will restore my data to same location. ZFS rollback. Sorry. Of them. Yes. Oop. As you see in here, your data is here, and you can use all of your file with ZFS snapshot. ZFS snapshot is very easy way to backup and restore your file uh, on Solaris operating system. Now, I will remove my snapshot the first is Roy them yeah so the first list exit the snapshot five grab more than one or more than one yeah there is no any ZFS snapshot in here and if you delete your file at the moment you can lose your file and it's impossible to recover that now minus H yeah ZFS destroy my data set yeah you lost your file you lost your data set Data set information on all things. ZFS this sorry. Zeppel this Roy for one. Yeah. Your pool one was destroyed and you are not able to uh, restore your pool, which is very risky command don't use this your system yeah or be careful if you want to use yes uh, ZFS and disks information is finished now and for new and detailed videos I will I will prepare for you and if you have any question please send email to me that I uh, share on the YouTube and See you again. Bye.